everybody. Welcome to the Colorado Knits podcast. My name is Carrie. I am your hostess of the Colorado Knits podcast. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Colorado Knits. Uh, and you can email me at hello at coloradoknits.net. And ideally, the show notes for this will be able to be found at coloradoknits.net. I haven't written them yet, though, so I'm not sure about that. Um, so welcome. Hello. Today is Friday, May 20th, 2022. Um, we're about to get snow here in Colorado. It was 90 degrees yesterday. It's going to snow here this afternoon. It is cold and rainy. And I really thought I'd love how cold and rainy it was. And then my house was really cold. So while I was working from home today and I didn't like that. So, um, but I did get to wear my new sweater. So we'll get to that. I have pros and cons of this lovely sweater. Um, so thanks for joining me. If you're a new viewer, hopefully I won't go on too long babbling about yarn life and whatnot and my dogs. Um, and if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Um, it's nice to be back on a schedule every couple of weeks. Haven't done a whole lot. Um, so with that, we'll get into it. I did sort of decorate my office a little. Um, I have a dog asleep under a table over here. I have dogs walking in and out, so hopefully we will, um, it won't be too crazy. Um, so I guess we'll get right into the knitting content. Um, first of all, I'm gonna start off by saying, let's see, Emily from Between Knits and Pearls and Little Cabin Knits, she is expecting her first baby today, Little Jimmy as she calls him. Um, she's being induced this afternoon at four o'clock in Alaska. So good luck with that, Emily. And then another regular viewer, um, Krista, who was knit one pug two. And now I think she's pug one pearl two or something. She, she made a mistake on Instagram on validating herself on Instagram and lost her account. She is having surgery today. So good luck with that, Krista. Like I said, all she has to do is go to sleep, let the surgeons do their stuff, wake up, um, and that's all good. Having a baby's a little different. Um, so good luck if you are having any medical things going on. Good luck to you as well. Um, so with that, let's get on to knitting. Finished object. Um, this is my Cape Cod, lightweight Cape Cod sweater. I've got a tank top on underneath it because it's got a funny um, collar. I do not like how the collar on this lies. This is... Um, I knit this in about two weeks. I used Knit Pick Stroll in navy, which I loved, and Knit Pick Stroll hand paint in gumball, which looks great here. Um, it's a little more heathered than I would have thought it was, um, but I do love it. It was super quick to knit up. It is a circular yoke. That's gonna be part of the problem on why I don't love it. I don't think circular yokes fit me very well because I go from very little neck to kind of broad shoulders. Not even in shape right now, but when I am in shape, my shoulders are big. So um, it's just kind of funky how it fits. Um, it does have short row shaping in the back, um, which should help it lie, but actually makes it bunch up more. If I wear it more like a boat neck, it works pretty well, but it's not gonna stay as a boat neck because as I'm sitting here typing at work, it's gonna come up. Um, and you can see, all of this is mosaic. It is all either, that's garter. This is mosaic. All of these are slip stitches. This is not stranded color work. You're only ever working one color at a time. Um, I love the little features, the sleeves, and same thing, no one needs to see my belly. Um, same thing on the bottom there. So I do love it. I just don't love the neckline. Um, I do envision doing one in pink with white, pink, and black speckles uh, for this part, but I'm gonna look into, do I do it a smaller size? How do I do, how do I make that happen? Um, this is my first time knitting a sweater out of Stroll. I've done Hawthorne before from Knit Picks. This was incredibly affordable, and this yarn is so soft and comfy. It is machine wash and dry. I machine washed it. We have a new front loader and it dries things even when you put it on not a high spin. I washed it on delicate. It doesn't have a hand wash, but I also know with this yarn, because um, I have used this yarn before, um, it's pretty much a workhorse yarn. 
Um, so it was almost dry when it came out. And so blocking it, I mean, was just really laying it out. Um, I don't know if I can do anything with the neck on blocking because I didn't stretch it. I didn't do anything with it anyway. So um, the pattern again is the lightweight Cape Cod sweater. I've only found it on Ravelry. It's, um, it was $6. I will say, I don't think $6 is as expensive for a pattern, but the way this pattern was written, it is not for first time sweater knitters. Um, it was just not clear instructions. I knew what I was doing. I totally understood, but it just, there were things like, oh, it's either pouring or sleeting right now in front of my house, sorry. Um, it was, there were things like increase 50 stitches. That's the other thing, the increases are huge. Um, and that happens a lot with circular yokes, but I'd rather have a small increase, small increase, small increase. Um, so the increases were gigantic on this, but it was like increase 48 stitches. And if you don't know to go look up how to increase in the round evenly. Um, if you don't know that, increasing 40 stitches over 200 stitches isn't always so easy. And it's not 200 stitches, it's like 212 stitches or something. So it's kind of funky like that. Um, so I just used an online tool that's linked on my Ravelry page. I think it's also gonna be linked on my project page on my blog um, for how to do that. I have like five pieces of hair that always come over and they're longer and that's very annoying. Um, so that is the big finished object. Obviously, I have my knitting mojo back now that we've been in the house a month, so things are starting to come back, and that is wonderful. The only other thing I've finished is yet another pair of folded hem Felici socks. Um, these are the Under the Boardwalk summer shorties, Under the Boardwalk footies. I don't know. I've made like 13 pair of them. And basically they are short rows to keep it on. Normally there's either a, a rolled or a ribbed cuff, short rows, uh, heel flap, gusset, regular sock, very basic, basic pattern. Um, I have added the folded hem on these because um, I am hooked on folded hems. And I knit these out of Knit Picks Felici in the Baker Street colorway because it was pre-wound and it was in my house. Um, so I had it um, and it was super easy to cast on. Obviously they don't match because it's a 50 gram ball. Um, I use 49 grams. The last pair I made, I made two pairs for my sister. They're sitting over there. I still have not mailed them to her. Um, one used 50, like exactly. I had like two feet of yarn left and the other one used like 45. So I don't know, I didn't weigh them. I just based on that. So these are about when I do the folded hem, which is an 18 row folded hem. Um, these are about 50 grams. So I do love being able to use an entire skein. I am just watching it snow out there. Um, an entire skein of, of Felici because when I do uh, Turkish bed socks, it leaves just enough to be annoying. If I do it without the folded cuff, again, just enough to be annoying to me. So um, another pair of those. These are for me. I've needed navy socks. Of course, they have no navy showing. This was really frustrating. There's navy it's right on the inside of the fold. So um, those are those. I grabbed another uh, skein of Felici out of my mothball bin um, and it aired out yesterday before the rain. Um, so now I will have another skein to do yet another pair of those. So um, on the needles. I don't have a lot on the needles. I actually, I have something, but it's in the other room and I don't edit, so I'm not gonna go <laughs> get it. Um, I have my Sassy Spirit Wrap, which I have been working on for several months now. Um, I've showed it before and it is on the, um, it's on my blog um, and I've enjoyed working on it, but I still have I haven't touched it since I started the sweater. I haven't touched it since before the move. So um, I'm hoping to get back into that and finish that before Zombie Knit Apocalypse. Um, when we were getting ready to move, I decided to, to pull out a pair of socks. I had already had everything skeined up um, so or caked up. So I pulled out some yarn by Artistic Yarn by Abby. It's called Gingerbread House. Super cute. Um, and I cast on two toes. I used 
um, because I figured we're moving. If I have time to knit, I don't want to deal with toes because it's the only part that I can't do on a nine inch circular. So I cast on two toes and I put a nine inch circ in both and I knit a sock. I finished it last night. Um, this is, you know, I've just, it's been, I've been puttering around with it. Haven't really been working that hard on it, but, um, I did decided to do a, I did it toe up, uh, fish lips kiss heel. I decided to try and do a folded hem, not a Pico bind off. And I kind of screwed it up, but it works and it fits just fine. Um, I accidentally just picked up the stitches, knit them together but I didn't bind it off. I keep looking at the snow. I'm sorry, everybody. It is really coming down. Um, I'll add that in at the end. I'll turn my camera. Um, so there is a ridge in there. You can see this ridge, um, which is kind of annoying, but when it's on my leg, I don't even, don't even notice it. Um, and I do not even know what happened here. I got some funky thing going on there. I don't know. Um, so, but they're fine. Um, and these are Christmas socks anyway. I don't wear a lot of brown. Um, love the yarn, artistic yarn by Abby. But as I mentioned, I started two socks. Last night during the hockey games, went to go find my next pair of socks to get started. Looked in my bag, looked in my lovely Tula pink bag, and I had two Chowgu nine inch circ packages. I had no second sock. I do not know where the needle and the toe are. They are completely MIA. I searched in every room in this house uh, and I couldn't find them anywhere and they could be in a car or they could be in, I don't know, I doubt they're in a garbage can, but they're somewhere I have a toe cast on. So um, I knew I would use almost all of the mini because of the folded hem, um, the heel and the toe that came with the socks. Um, that came with the yarn, so I just found some, it does not match, but it's my feet and nobody's going to be seeing my toes. Um, and in Colorado, we have such hard water that as soon as they do see, see it, it's this all will be off white before we know it. Um, and I started a new sock. So unfortunately, I had to spend half an hour doing a toe, which I don't mind, but the whole thing was like, I'd already done this toe. Awesome, we're ready to rock and roll. So that did not happen, but um, not much to show, just a couple rows of the um, of the pattern yarn, and it is gonna match up pretty perfectly, I think. So that's always nice. Um, so that's all that's on my needles. I am about to cast on Needle adjacent, I'm not sure if I showed this two weeks ago, um, but sorry for crinkling. I am going to cast on the Cozy Classic Raglan using, again, this is like brought to you by Knit Picks, who does not compensate me in the least. Um, I have been wanting to make this sweater. I've, I rarely knit with mohair. I haven't knit with mohair in forever. And so, um, I didn't want to spend a gazillion dollars um, to see if I wanted a sweater with mohair. So I decided I wanted to use Hawthorne Speckling, Speckled because I love this. I've knit several sweaters out of it. It's incredibly affordable. It's $14 for one of these when it's not on sale. Um, and then I was going to blend it with uh, mohair. And I swear I talked about this already. Um, and I thought white, white is boring and I can't wear white. If you know me, I cannot wear white. Um, so then I was like, oh, navy, navy would be awesome. Knit Picks doesn't make navy um, mohair. And I'm lazy and didn't want to go shopping for mohair, whether it be online or whatever. And I really did want navy, but I went with celestial. And it is so bright. It is the most royal, royal. And I do love this color. Um, I just don't know about wearing an entire, like that doesn't really show how bright it is, I swear. The camera, when you take a picture versus when I turn on the video, the um, coloring is so very different. Um, but, so I have this in Celestial with this, and I went and looked on um, Ravelry and saw some people who had used these two colors together to see how bright blue it is, and it's really not that bad. It is lovely, but it's really not that bad. 
So, um, I definitely know I already talked about this yarn, so I don't need to talk about it again, but this is still literally sitting in a bag. Um, this is, hey, look, it's Knit Picks Stroll Gradient. Um, and I have four skeins of that to do something with. I am not sure what. Um, so that's needle adjacent. Um, and that's all I've got for on the knitting front. Um, I do have some acquisitions that came in the mail, um, which is a good segue for more out than more in. And I'm going to just take a quick um, drink. This is my not suitable for work bottle. It says this could be vodka um, because I work in addiction recovery. I can't use that at work. So... It's not vodka, it is simply uh, water with some meal in it. Um, so we'll talk about more out than in. I give up. I have been like binging on so much yarn. I have a dog coming to visit. Um, I've been binging on so much yarn and I'm going to be doing a rainbow sweater, uh, which is the sweater that has the rainbow here and then it's whatever color you want um, with Always Be Kind yarn. Um, yarn. We are going to be uh, doing a little knit along in that, uh, she and I. So that's a lot more yarn coming in the mail. <laughs> so um, I've kind of given up on more out than in. The other reason, I mentioned this last time, my yarn is in the garage in giant 70 gallon Rubbermaid bins with mothballs. I did not want to have to go the mothball route. I tried everything else, um, but now that it is no longer freezing here, I say that as we're getting snow, I can't freeze my yarn and my my refrigerator, my freezer does not do a good enough job of freezing my yarn. So I decided to go with chemicals, horrible, awful, evil chemicals, and I have my yarn all bundled up with encapsulated mothballs. So the mothballs are in paper, so they're not actually touching the yarn, but dang, does that stuff stink. And I probably put in more mothballs than I needed to. Um, but when I wanna knit something, I go down there, I dig through it, sort of holding my breath. Um, and then I take it out and I put it on our patio, um, our upstairs deck to air out for a couple of days. I did that yesterday. Um, I grabbed some Felici, as I mentioned, and then I grabbed, I had a skein of mohair and um, hawthorn that I could um, swatch with um, just to get an idea uh, for the sweater on the beginning of the needle size and then I'll swatch for real with um, the yarn that I have and so I threw it up on the patio on the on the chair that we have and I I don't know how I forgot it's a it was a red flag morning day it was so windy it was ridiculous and about a half hour later I'm in my office working and I hear the wind howling and I think I wonder if I have any yarn and I went out and there was no yarn on my deck um, thankfully, it did not blow into the neighbor's yard. I thought the mohair was gone for sure because it's so lightweight. But the, it was, um, thankfully, it fell just straight down into our yard and then just sort of whipped around and it did not unravel and it didn't get dirty. Um, it was fine. Uh, so um, that, but going back to why I'm not doing more in than out now, I don't see my yarn. <laughs> when you don't see it, you don't ogle it, you don't think, oh, I could use this for a project and you continue to buy it. So um, I'm okay with that. I'm comfortable with that. And that's the most important thing. I said this before, you only live once, knit the yarn. So um, I'm gonna wait on this thing. I'm gonna tell you what else I got in the mail. Um, I subscribe to the Apple Fiber Studios Monthly Yarn Club. And for April, they gave every subscriber a special gift of two skeins. And this yarn is ridiculous. Um, would I buy this in a store? Probably not. If I saw it in a store, I'd probably be like, oh, not, not what I want. Um, two colors, strawberry lemonade and raspberry limeade. And the strawberry lemonade totally matches my drink. Um, but when you put these two together, they are ridiculous. They're so fun and so pretty. And I just, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but there's gonna be some sort of two color shawl happening here. Um, maybe with a gray, um, not sure what, but, or a very light, um, I could see using a pink or something, but absolutely love, love, love this. 
Um, so these, uh, this was, they gave a bonus skein this month. Really excited about that. Lord knows when I'll knit it up. So it's going to be um, shrink wrapped. I think this came literally the day that I podcasted. So I didn't get a chance to show this. Um, it's been sitting on her kitchen counter, uh, just taunting me. So um, the other thing that I had the last time I podcasted and forgot to share about, I have seen so many people with circular sock machines. And I'm like, I want one of those, just like I wanted a spinning wheel. And then I found out I am not good at drafting. Um, and spinning just isn't my thing, but I do have an electric eel. Um, but I want a circular sock machine. And then I was like, do I? Do I? I don't do afterthought heels. Do I really want slash need a, um, there's a dog coming to say hello. Hi, hi Veruca Salt. Um, do I really want a circular sock machine? So I went online um, to Etsy. We won't even talk about Etsy and how much they've raised their fees for sellers. Um, sorry, the dog just knocked into the camera. Um, and I found someone selling a um, sock blank, a circular sock blank that she had already um, she had already knit up for you with her circular sock machine. Um, and I just was like looking at different people and I liked this color online. I look at the color now, I, I look at it in the camera, that's the color I thought it was. When it arrived, it is much more taupey. Um, will I wear this color? I liked it because it had the navy and it looked kind of gray, but it's actually more brown, it's a brown gray, and that's fine. Um, will I wear this? I don't know. And looking at it, Oh, doggy, these look big. It occurred to me, I knit super tight. I knit 64 stitches, but I knit super tight on a size zero. And I realized these are almost more like a 72 stitch sock for me. So they are very large. Granted, they haven't been washed yet or anything. Um, but the company, the woman from whom I purchased it, Victoria House Fiber Sock Kit. Um, and what she, she is, um, pretty impressive in everything she gives you. Um, when you order it, it comes with a mini, which I loved the shade of blue. So beautiful. Um, that perfectly matches for your heels, toes, cuffs. Um, she gives you everything. Stitch count, 64. Uh, nine, uh, stitches per inch, 10 and a half to 11 rows per inch. And seven and a half, seven and a quarter to seven and a half inches unstretched, which is why I think this is going to be a little big. Um, this is 75-25% superwash merino nylon. Um, and she has everything that you need to do to make this happen. It literally, she has locate the green half marker. This is where half of your sock is. Um, the other the orange uh, is every, I think, five rows um, that she puts them in. So it's really easy to help you with your heel placement and stuff. Um, sorry, yarn markers every 25 rows at the bar beginning. Does not look like 25. Oh, it is 25 rows between, between um, markers. So you can figure out where you're putting in your heel and toe. And then she gives you math. She actually gives you the math on how to figure out where you put stuff, which I know because I'm a sock knitter, but this is great. She also has um, links to um, uh, afterthought heel patterns and things like that. So um, I think this was like $30, but maybe 35. I don't think it was $35. Uh, including shipping. It got here two days later, came out of Chicago, like ordered it on a Monday. It was here on a Wednesday. Um, and it's lovely. And so I'm going to see if I enjoy, even if they don't fit me, if I even want to do afterthought everything on socks, because I love my Fish Lips Kiss heel. And that's not really a great afterthought heel. You can do it, but there's some grafting, blah, blah, blah. Um, cuffs, toes, not an issue for me, but the heel. Um, so I have to see if I even like an afterthought heel. So, um, and then I have to figure out, you know, this is too big. So if I were to buy a Bean and Dean, I would get a 60 um, instead of a 64 or something. So I'm excited to try this. 
It's been sitting in wait for a while. I also ordered new um, carbons, carbons needles uh, in size zero to go with these um, because my double points, or not my double points, my um, magic loops, they were old. <laughs> I just wanted something new. Again, why I can't do more in than out. Um, so hopefully next podcast, I will have at least one of these done. Um, I need some quiet time to sit and figure out like the, the heels, the placement of the heels. Um, the toe is not as big of a deal. The, well, technically a heel is a toe, so it's the same thing. Cuffs, super easy. Um, could even do a folded cuff if I wanted, but I probably won't. Um, so that's that. Um, and that's what I have. That's all the stuff that has arrived. I did make a binge purchase the other day. I'm waiting for it to ship. Um, I, Apple Yarns sent an email. They had their 16th anniversary as a yarn store and they had grab bags or well, they had tote bags and notion bags that you could buy, whether you were there or you could order them online, I think. But um, they are up in Bellingham, Washington. I found them because I knit, I bought the not, I did not knit it. I bought the nacho pattern by, um, Casapinka and that was a partnership with Emma's Yarns and uh, Apple Yarns was doing kits for that. So I had a discount if you bought the kit and I bought the kit and it's sitting in my yarn stash. So I have not knit the Nancho yet. Um, today is Nancho weather though, so perhaps I should dig down and find that. Um, so that's how I found them. They are not my local yarn shop or anything like that. I just have found them and ordered stuff from them and they're very nice. People, so um, I enjoy shopping there. But they had tote bags, which you just paid what, like $25 for a tote bag. So they had tote bags and then they decided we're going to fill them with some one-off yarns that they have. And they shoved them with five different skeins of yarn um, from bulky to fingering um, and wrapped it up and they'll ship it off to you. So I ordered one of those and I ordered, um, a notions bag, which was the same thing, but two skeins of yarn. That's not fingering. I'm imagining that's DK probably in there because it said up probably about 400 yards of yarn. So you're not gonna get two skeins of fingering. And so those were half off what they would cost. There were over a hundred dollars in yarn in one and over $60 in another. So um, I just went and bought more stuff there. So hopefully that will arrive soon. I'm waiting for it to ship. Um, I kind of just wanted to tell them, oh, wait and ship it with my with my yarn club, which is almost over, that comes at the end of the month. And I was like, no, oh, I want that now. Like I have time to knit anything. But um, so that is what's my agenda. I have no patterns to share or anything. I was not that organized. Um, it has been, work has been absolutely, can't even say it's crazy, but it is crazy. Um, I am in grant writing mode right now, and it's not grants, it's reports about grants and successes and challenges that we had in implementing our grants. And I feel like right now there's so many challenges. So um, I was working on, I finished one grant that um, makes me realize how dysfunctional my, my evaluation program is. And I decided to podcast because I needed something positive after writing that report that said we didn't do a great job. Um, we did a great job in getting people through recovery. We didn't do a great job in evaluating how we got them through recovery. Um, and then I have another one to write, which is a letter of inquiry, which is kind of more fun because you get to brag about how awesome you are and why someone should give you money. So I'm looking, am I looking forward to writing that? I think I am looking forward to writing that. Um, in a month I will be done. I can't say I'm done with grants cause I'm always writing grants. I'll be done with my event. I have a golf tournament coming up in a little under a month. Um, and then I'm going to zombie knit apocalypse in Rochester, Minnesota with, um, my friend Cindy, and we are going to drink beer, watch sports and knit, um, and be somewhat social with people. I don't know how social I will be. <laughs> I realized after this pandemic, I am such an introvert, like such an introvert. Um, hanging out with people is really hard for me. Um, and then I think I want, I meant to check um, to see if 
if Estes is having the wool market this year, because that will be coming up probably in August. Um, so those are on my calendar of things to do. Um, that's it here. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I don't have any rants and raves. Um, I really wanted to rave about the snow, but I am looking at it right now and I am going to share with you. Do, do, do. It is coming down in giant clumps of snow um, in late May in Denver, Colorado. So I said I would share that. I have no idea what it looked like. I'll have to take a look at that. I might have to edit it out and put in a picture or something. I don't edit. Um, so I am glad I get to wear my awkward sweater. I will get to wear sweatshirts all weekend. It's going to be cold. It's going to be lovely. And then we're going to be back to 90 in a week. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of weeks. I hope you knit all the things that you want. I hope you buy the yarn and then you knit the yarn. If you buy the yarn, you really ought to knit with it. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.